Hello everyone. In this lecture, we shall create an e-commerce product card with ASP.NET Code 3.1 and this is the part 1 and in this uh, part we will be creating a product page. So this will be about building e-commerce application with MVC and we will create the e-commerce product and create a product controller with product view with a clickable buy link and we will proceed to the other parts in the next lecture. Okay, so let's switch over to Visual Studio now. I will click on create a new project, ASP.NET Core web application, next, and give it a name, e-commerce shopping cart, ASP.NET Core. Click on create. and create a new ASP.NET Core web application comes in and I will click on, I will keep it on ASP.NET Core 3.1 that is the default selected and then click on this model view controller and click on create with configure for HTTPS and without enabling the Docker support, okay. So click on create and it will create the application for me. I'll come back again in a short while. So this is my project structure and this are properties launch settings dot json for launching the project with some special configuration otherwise it comes up with a default setting okay and it shows the profiles iis express profile iis settings windows authentication there is no windows authentication ethernum is uh, authentication true and launch browser true e-commerce shopping cart asp.net core and application url etc and ASP.NET Core environment is the development. So this is my controllers and I've got a default home controller in which I will, um, I can delete this. Let us delete because we'll not be needing the um, home controller and instead I will add a product controller first. So delete this one and in the views there's a home and I can delete this because home is no more needed so I will just delete the home view all right and then click on this uh, let's oh, wait okay now it's all deleted so controllers folder I'll right click and add controller and MVC controller empty okay mvc controller with read write actions and okay out of these three choices i will go for the empty controller let's add an empty controller so i will name this product controller so product controller And I have got a default index view that returns an I action result. Now I will modify this index action. I will be completing my model class in the models folder in order to be able to complete the index action method of the product controller. And I'll also have to create a view models from the models folder from the model classes. So let's right click and add class. This is a product class. Properties for the product class. Uh, there will be a string property ID. Prop tap tap. String ID. That's it. And then just copy this over. items and my strategy is to always just copy and paste and then customize according to your needs that's the easiest way to do and quickest okay so public string name and then public double this will be a price okay it will return a double 
double type public double price and then finally public string photo so i'll be using the photo of the products which will be flower i'll be selling some bunch of flowers you know uh, so id name price and photo and then there's an item class as well so add class item.cs and what this item class will contain it will contain a couple of public properties again prop tap tap and this will be containing uh, this will be returning a product class product and call this product only right and then the next one is a quantity of type integer so public product product and public int quantity so model is out of the way now let me create a product model also so this product model will list uh, I mean this will use the product class to return a list of products which we will soon see right click on this project node project level and click on add click another folder new folder and name this folder view models models for the view okay from the given model so i will call this product model so click on add class product product model dot cs okay so this is an important class i have to write so in this product model class I'll have to declare a public property prop tap tap and this will return a list of product and I have to take the namespace and that will tell me it's already taken because uh, it is already taking e-commerce using e-commerce shopping cart asp.core.models class that's why it's squiggly line is gone okay now next is i'll create another method which returns a list of product and call this method find all okay find a list of or write a list of all the products list all you can call this list all i call this find all so now this is going to return again a list of product find all camel case the name of the method okay so now I will be using renaming this property as products so products with a underscore and then I'll define this products which is a list of product as underscore products equals new list of product and the you know class initializer I will use new product empty bracket and then I'll start writing this is comma separated with other elements so new product and then ID we'll start writing a 
it will show you all the properties. So ID name, photo and price. So ID equals, because it is a string, say one to start with. And because it will be a listing, it will be, the product will be all flowers. So I'll have to create a few flowers and put them in the right directory, which is the www roots and there will be an image directory which I will make soon um, flower one okay just to be simple keep it simple I will not go for any complicated name of the flowers but just name it flower one okay and then photo again let us call this thumb one thumbnail images thumb one dot jpg and uh, just an arbitrary price okay so price let us put it as 2.8 right and then this product is um, done and then another new product so what I can do is just to get it quick new product I'll copy from here to here this part and below this comma I'll write another new product and then get rid of this curly brace and comma then comma and then put another new product and then comma and then another let's make five six products like that okay so id one and then just modify them and then it will be flower two and thumb two Price. 3.5 anything just keep in mind that it will be it will be returning a double okay so id three and then flower three um, three price say 4.45 or anything that you'd like to ID 4 flower 4 thumbnail thumb 4 and then price say 3.7 okay Seven zero and then ID five flower five thumbnail image thumb five dot jpeg and then another price right quite a few product I have listed and then you can continue you can list as many flowers as you like um, maybe it will be a good idea to uh, add a bunch of few more flowers say let's uh, return 10 flowers actually and I've got images of 10 flowers so I can just write 10 but I'll have to modify all of them okay I will modify all of them and then come back again now I have listed all of my products 10 products in all and then just close this um, curly braces and this is matching this product so product new list is created already now in order to satisfy this uh, close this remove this squiggly line all I have to do is to return it is expecting a return type of list of products so all I have to do is to return this underscore product okay so return underscore products right so this is returning a list of product and then indent them a bit and then there's another method that I have to write um, find find with an ID okay so this method is it comes after this first method is terminated here and then comes this method so this is also public method of 
public accessibility so public It will return a product as well and I will name this find or you can name this find by ID as well no problem because it is actually finding my ID find and it will get accept a parameter string of ID I mean ID of type string all right and then I'll declare a list of product again list of product products and then this will call this method above that i have completed find all okay so first it will list all the products in the list and then it will search with the ID. Does it make sense? So var prod equals products and put the lambda expression products dot where a uh, any English letter that you can use alphabet a goes to a dot now you got this product because this is looking at product class or product model so id name for the price so i will look for id a dot id which is compared with the passed in id so a dot id equals equals id dot first or default that's the first of default this this will return the first product or the default product okay first element of a sequence or a default value if the sequence contains no elements right it will return the first value in this case and then return this product return prod right so both the methods have been written find and find all let's build this application at the moment just to see if everything is all right or not hunky dory so now there is one error that says that you know this error um, view model could not be found that is because you know in the model i have earlier actually removed the error model so i like to remove this error view also so i'll just right click and then delete it and then rebuild this application okay and then if I rebuild this application, it should be all right, okay? Now, again, the build succeeded, okay? Once succeeded, zero failed. Images folder is created, you can see here, and I have copied some images and I will paste it over, control V. It's empty, it's showing empty, okay? So, once more. So, paste. Now this time you can see the images thumbnails are there already there. Now that I have uh, created this model with the model view uh, with the product model and all the models that is you know um, item and product model I am ready to fill up this uh, gap in the index action method okay and I have also already uh, put the images folder in place with the thumbnail images of a few products uh, which are flowers so let me continue with the product model so i just got it on my clipboard to save time so product model the instance of product model is product model is new product model and then view bag in the view bag which i am using to dynamically bind it to the view i am adding product so view bag dot products is assigned this value product model dot final okay now with the index action method out of the way and written, I have to create a view for this index action method. So right click again and click on add view. Erase the view empty. Click on add. 
leave it as index.cshtml and reserve view empty and click on add. So it adds the view over here, index.html in the same folder at the product controller. I have to start writing from the top. So here we will not be using any layout. Just to keep it simple. So layout equals null. And then exclamation doc type HTML. Right. And then start writing the HTML part of this uh, razor page or view page rather end HTML, HTML, end HTML. Okay, so let's include all everything. We'll include head and head viewport this for making it responsive so that it is responsive in mobile application as well as you know um, iPad or any other um, device specific size it will adapt to so width equals device width uh, right so meta is added already and then I will give it a title index that is and this is end of head and then comes body body and body h3 and h3 products list table with some suitable cell, cell padding and cell spacing cell padding 2 cell spacing again 2 let's say and then border a thin border of 1 table and table now I have to code for the I have to write the script for the table okay markup for the table so tr table row now table row will contain table head table header rather so what will be the header columns th id whatever are the properties for the product model so id name what else photo and then price and then buy buy header which will be a link okay price oops price and th by right so and t header is in the t row this is just a header now i will have to include an iterative for each loop at for each um, for each var product in 
view bag dot products end for each for each and end for each and let us in this a bit and I have to write some further markup within the TR and TD elements. So this will actually bring up the values. So within TR and TR, everything will be there. Just indent this a little bit further. And TD, TD and TD. Now I can use the at symbol just to make it a C sharp code at product C. Now intelligence comes into picture at product dot ID. And similarly, TD and between NTD at product at product dot name. And then an image source product ID product name image source within another TD uh, image tag the IMG source tag source attribute and this will be actually the rooted to um, this path tilde slash images slash at product with small p product dot photo in that view back product dot capital P okay photo with the capital P and then width of anything that you can give a suitable 50 or 60 width let's give it 60 NTD and then there will be the price so product id name the photograph and td and td there will be at product dot price td align center And TD and within TD and TD, I'll have to refer it to the ASP controller. So, which controller, when you click on the buy link now or buy now, it should redirect to another um, controller, which is a card controller, which I am yet to make, and an ASP action buy, which I am yet to write. Okay, so anchor tag, the ASP controller attribute ASP controller and um, make it cart okay and then ASP action by there's an action method and ASP root ID ASP route ID equals at product dot ID right let's close this tag Okay, so at product.id, this is td, tr, ntr, n table, and then uh, n body. So my body is now complete. And that is the n body, n body tag. Body has started up there. And then finally end HTML.
right so HTML and end HTML so I'll just save this now here I have to do another thing um, that is uh, image element represent missing close angle for tag helper image okay so I forgot something here okay yeah. closing tag was missing the another thing was that this ASP controller ASP action and ASP root ID they should come up with the dark um, maroon colors whereas it is coming in the red color now this is because this index action method when I created the index action method as an empty uh, view or this actually didn't generate a separate view folder which it should generate view and within a view there will be a product folder and then it should have been created which is not the case so I'll have to now manually do this stuff so right click on the views folder and then add views add folder new folder and call this folder product and within this product folder uh, I'll have to actually move this index um, view so let me move this over here right save it color has suddenly changed now this is all right this is acceptable to the application so we'll stay with this and another thing that I have earlier missed is that I have to create that link I have already made the infrastructure but I had to write buy now okay save it so at the moment I have got just this product controller and a product view which will supposed to redirect it to a cart controller with a cart view if you click on the buy now so that will be coming next so I ran this application and I found there is a small hitch over there this was at product dot id with i capital because that has come from product class okay where id is i capital and d small and another thing is that let's uh, come to the startup class which i've come now here i have to make a change endpoints dot map controller route so it has to be controller equals the home it's not the home controller it's the product controller that i am br browsing to okay and action is index and id it's optional okay now at this point we are halfway through the application so let's click the iis express to run this application and see what happens with our product controller if everything is fine so you can see that our cold product list comes although there is not much of styling because i have not used any layout or even bootstrap styling which you can always fix later if you'd like to and uh, if you click on you got id name photo price etc if the photos have come nicely but if you click on buy link nothing will happen because this uh, it will supposed to be it is supposed to redirect it to the shopping cart which it will shopping cart is not there okay so it is showing if you look at uh, below at the uh, status bar it is showing localhost colon port slash cart slash buy slash two this is but there is no controller so this local place uh, localhost page cannot be found so we'll come back and complete that soon